guys, welcome back to my channel. So a few weeks ago I got invited to the sleek My Face and My Rules launch party and I can finally show you what I got up to and how inspiring and innovative the launch was. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. There is so much glamour and gorgeousness in this room in so many ways. I feel positively excited and I also, I've been getting political and uh, thinking about it quite deeply and uh, I feel like Something like this wouldn't have happened even five years ago in this way. And I don't know exactly what I mean by that, but I feel like beauty is being represented in so many different ways in this room, and that's a huge testament to sleek makeup. So, yeah, round of applause, basically. It's unfortunate that, that about five years ago this wouldn't have happened because beauty is so many things. Um, but, you know, things are being shaken up in the right way, and I hope you all agree. Um, my face, my rules, I mean, come on. That has been my philosophy my whole life. But I think when you think about the beauty industry, and you think about the media, and you think about advertising, still we are being sold something in a certain way, and that can often be rigid, and it can often be about making us feel vulnerable and not good about ourselves. Uh, whereas to be alive is pretty fantastic. Uh, to have a face is pretty good as well. Uh, and to be able to paint it and play with it and have identity that's experimental uh, should be applauded, particularly in 2017 where we can be whoever we want to be. Absolutely horrific to see the extent to which people want to police how other people present themselves and how they use makeup. I mean, for example, one in 10 people believe that the more makeup a woman wears, the more sexual partners she has. It's absolutely wow. horrific. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go to your bosses, even though you're pretty high up, and a lot of them are probably in suits, male and white. Um, <laughs> hey! You're one of the good ones, baby! <laughs> 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 a joke called <laughs> I mean, obviously he is. Come on, this is happening. Thank you. Um, but, you know, I'm being... I am, I am, I am generalising, but you know, I'm guessing like a lot of people in control, uh, yeah. statistically, yeah. and all that. Um, so, what do they think when you're saying, uh, you know, let's do this? It was a, it was a tough sell, guys. Yeah. <laughs> this, this campaign has been a year in the making. It's how long it's taken to get this through, get everyone behind this, get people to kind of feel a bit scared, honestly. I think a lot of people in big businesses and the beauty industry are a bit scared Very of scared. showing real life, real people. Um, Why? I just don't know. I've had so many similar conversations in different contexts, so across whether it's like broadcast or the beauty industry or, uh, I don't know, all of this stuff that we care about, right? Why is it so scary? Because, and this is the thing, right, we're so used to, in every walk of life, seeing fully airbrushed, poreless, perfect people who are a size whatever, not, not size shaming, be whatever health size you want, but we're so used to seeing a certain type of person uh, in the media that when you present something to people who work in marketing, generally, they're a bit like, oh, hang on, this isn't what I recognise and I'm not comfortable with this, and it, and it feels scary. So it took a lot of time to persuade people to take some risk here and do things very differently. Um, I mean, yeah, it was, a, it was a battle, but man, it was worth it. Honestly, yeah. worth it. Yeah. Because people feel like they can attack you. So I, like, I write beauty, so recently I had the nerve to um, talk about Beyonce in Not The Great Lie, and <laughs> I've seen the backlash. All I said was she couldn't dress, which I feel like it's true. But <laughs> in terms of like people on the internet and her beehive, it's, it's been the case that I have had to mute conversations because people will be like, you're this, um, I've had someone say they're going to burn me, throw acid on me, so, and it's like, because of what? It's like, you have to realise, like, you're because of what, oh, um, what you, who you are, you to talk about someone, all you do is write beauty for a living. Yeah, I write beauty for a living, I get paid for it, sis, so I don't know what the problem is. But it's a case of, like, when it's online, people forget, and I think even me, I need to do it, like, I will see a, a post and I'll tag my friend, oh, lol. But I'm like, oh, because it's a celebrity, it's okay, but it, it's not okay, and I need to remember that if I see his lesson in real life, I won't go laugh in her face. So, like, act accordingly. That's what I think. Um, same thing. I get, as an influencer, because I have quite a huge following, I, there's always going to be the negative people that try to voice 
themselves. And I always try to remind myself that these people are probably going through something that is affecting them so much that they have to dislike someone so strongly. And sometimes I just brush off some of the comments that they say because I know myself and I know what I do and I know a lot of what they say is not true and they probably don't really mean it. So I always think about like the power of the plug and I mean that like metaphorically as well as reality. Like if you are feeling a bit low, then just turn your stuff off. Like just even for a couple of hours, just and, and monitor the people that you're following in terms of if they make you know when you just you know when you have a real Instagram stalk, right? And then you feel, maybe it's someone that you know or you distantly know or someone that you don't and you're just looking at this wedding that's been going on all weekend. Um, you know, that kind of thing. Um, uh, uh, sometimes if you start to not feel like, like you're enjoying it anymore but you just feel a bit dirty, like... I don't feel normal, I feel weird. Um, I think that, that we should really take that dirtiness like, seriously and just be like, perhaps I need to press unfollow. Um, and, and, uh, and also utilise block and report, even though I know that nobody has like the, com the complete control over the internet. It does feel quite powerful to block people. So I think, would you agree? Um, I'm not going to go on pages. I've said a lot of what I kind of wanted to say, but I guess... Three things I want to cover is this campaign from the outset has been about women, men who just love makeup. <laughs> nothing to be ashamed of, nothing to be not frivolous. It's something that is important to everyone in this room. And it is a pure, unadulterated celebration of makeup junkies in every form. It's really important to note that we really wanted to cast real people, hey, I'm doing that, but you know what I mean, right? So we cast from our social channels, um, the cast are here, um, they're all amazing and they've all got the most incredible stories which during our casting process kind of blew me away. Um, from Nil, who's here, who literally I just kind of stare at with awe and an open mouth most times I speak to her, um, but who's also just yesterday completed her Masters in Anatomy oh. in, oh. in her year round from her medical degree. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, who does that? Who actually does that? Um, right, yeah. Just the most amazing people, Ray and your beautiful little boy Odin, who we totally fell in love with on the shoot. Every one of these people has the most incredible story and it's such a privilege to tell those stories and show the judgement that these people face, we all face in everyday life, and be a brand that stands up and says, you know what, nah, line in the sand, this is something we are going to fight against. And this is a campaign that stars real people, it's a campaign that is a passion for me, and something I fought for for a year, so it is a bit personal me, forgive me if I get a bit emosh. Um, and it's really important to note, this is for you. It's not for the male gaze. That is the most important thing about this campaign. And my team know me and how much I lecture them about feminism. They're all nodding because they're really bored of me in the office. <laughs>